As the world changing center, they continue for help people them now my Balkan of village and also Jotan community. And after the launching of the library, we see outside the world changing center, they give clothes and other support to combat them in the Jotan community. I want to take this opportunity to thank every one of you that are here at this moment, most especially Fair uh, Network, they are with us. Then we have Mr. Edward from Slango. We have the CTA chairman from um, the community. We have uh, uh, mothers from Makando community. We have them at the back there with their children. They are all here. We have the staff and pupils of this noble school, St. Joseph Primary School, Joe Town. But this library is not only meant for St. Joseph Primary School. This library is for Makando community. But thank God, all of us, we love our people in our villages. That's why we are sharing this library. So that all the, all the, the villages around Makando community will access this library. So I hope all of us as I come, as I use this library, we use the library wisely. We are not coming here to take to steal books, but we are here to gain knowledge. Because all the shelves that we are seeing here, we have seven shelves. Every shelves carrying a lot of knowledge. So I believe through the inspiration of uh, Madame Langley. She really wants to impact knowledge to all the community people and also all the schools around the six villages. Because in Sierra Leone, we have lacked reading. We have problem with reading in Sierra Leone. So in that note, that's why Madame Langley has put it fit to bring knowledge in our community. Because knowledge Life. Thank you very much and God bless us all. Now we are going to have a short play by the children. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Why are we so quiet? Why are we so quiet? We are very, very sorry for the late start. Please. Okay? I hope you accept our apology. My name is Israel Dijan and I am fortunate to be one of the librarians in this library. So one thing we want to showcase is some of the things we are going to teach the children. It's not going to be much, but just a short skit. Um, for my own part, it's going to be like a poem. I think so many children, but because of time, I'm going to take two of them to read two different poems. They are written by Maya Angelou. The name of the poems are Cage Birds and Still Rise. So I'm going to call on my kids and please, please, please give your support. Encourage your children. Because I know there are so many, many parents here whose children are around here attending schools. Do not see the library as one isolated places. Okay? Now change your pantry. You will never understand yourself much better. Do your parents them. Do your mama, papa, the we were there. I want to be all this like the city city one. That money you want to go give you a pity there. So go pay less thing. Now, you want to waste your money. I want to take and say this like library. Now, one side, when you pick it, they come for color. Now one side when you preaching, they come for Kalan. So one thing where you don't for do, you know say you never study you preaching at home. Now the best thing this now, what thing Madame Landley don't do for me? This life the way don't can create now this environment. Now the best thing this now for you preaching, 
for land there table. Make sure say you begin always say that yeah, for land. So this is a just short statement that they do, even though um, able uh, uh, chair person just go and answer to me say I will not beat the us. So we go get for invite somebody where they can Mr. Benjamin, where they can entertain on a boss. Then after that, we go introduce the beginner. We go can show a small thing where we they land in at this library. A password, read and write. There are other things there. We will land them. So we just keep on ourselves tight. We will enjoy on ourselves. We will thank you. Thank you very much, my brother, for that brilliant and sweet song that you have given us. You have blessed our hearts this afternoon. Now I'm calling on the first point, Cage Bad Bad Maya. The first point, Mr. Israel, sir. Okay, okay, ladies and gentlemen, I don't need to talk much. I want to call a very eloquent lady. I know I don't have this year, I buy a suit, and a woman is in the front for me, okay? Because I just want to train the lady. So, my first person is going to be Salema Tubangua. Salema Tubangua. I call him straight back. I call him straight back. My, my name is Salema Tubangua. I am in class 4. Come and read my poem. Back by Maya Angel, a few bad leaps on a part of the way and two and two down street. See the foreign head, and this is we in the orange sun rays, and we are to climb the sky, but a part that saw and we are down is now okay. And seldom see through the bad that was, and and this as sleep and the sick as die. So he opened his way to see the third bad thing is a fearful thing of of things that of things unknown, but but long for see and is through his act. On the distancing for the cage bad thing of freedom, the three bad things of another breed, and the and the three three and the three wings stop two and three three, and the first one waiting on a lower bright home and. And name the sky his own. But the but the cage bad stand on the grave is of of green. His, his shadow shout on his nightmare swing. His his feet are clean and his feet are tight. So he opens his throat to sing. He came back to with a fear to see of, of, of things unknown, but drunk for sin, and he, and he threw his hair on the distancing for the came back thing of, of, thing of freedom. Thank you. On a class for our class photo, because of the confidence alone where we come in this point. On a class for our class photo. I just walked out with another interesting young lady. On another letter by the side, but she's very, very brilliant. 
I want to put your hands together for each of to far. Each of to far. I find you still alive. When I just listen to the words of the poem, and then we get something very educative. Still alive, a poem is
reality. That is no other person but a man from Slando. If you know about um, any NGO in Sierra Leone, if you want to open an NGO in Sierra Leone, you have to pass through Slando. That person is no other person but Mr. Edward. Thank you very much, Mr. Edward. You are happy to be welcome up here, sir, to make this speech. Thank you. Take your feet. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. What are the comrades here and uh, I'm not forgetful now. Or the BCC will not ever forget to now. This facility where you don't come, not for Una all. But the program will be found inside the community. Because now, we uh, demand more the support to this facility. I will not get, yeah. So we are not say they don't abandon we. We are not say let people there they don't to we. They are not even respect we. We respect our all. We are We are understand. We respect our all. We are understand. Even under the outside Thank you. So I greet you all in the name of Jesus and I want to extend our greeting to the parliamentarian of this particular area, the councillor that is governing this particular area. I also honor the chief of the Joe Town community. I also recognize all board and staff of World Changes Center for the most valued concern and even the move to invite all of you here to this particular occasion, which is the launching of the library in this community. I also recognize the presence of all ladies and gentlemen. And indeed, it's my privilege to have been asked to propose a vote of thanks on this occasion. I, on behalf of the founder and the CEO, 
Madam Langley of the World Change Center in the UK and the entire supporters, the sponsoring organization, team, even special individuals among us, and on my behalf, would like to extend a very hearty vote of thanks to all speakers, the children, they are not excluded. The person, Mr. McCarthy, that gave us the wonderful song. All other speakers, you are all recognized for your wonderful information that you have shared at this particular occasion. Mr. Chair, I would like to take this opportunity to place on record our hearty thanks to our founder and CEO of WCC and our UK donor partners for the perfect logistic support and guidance they have extended to all of us at this library opening ceremony. Indeed, it is not an easy task. For somebody staying in the UK, having our own family here, having our own family in Sierra Leone, and then having the initiative that I have to support, I have to push the flagship project of the current government of Sierra Leone, which is no other project but education. I also extend my thanks to our committed community members for embracing the development initiative introduced by WCC, which to us show the true spirit of acceptance and believing in the theory of change and will help in enhancing sustainability of the WCC project. And this is what exactly you have shown this afternoon. Despite all your other commitments, despite all your business can do, you have decided to leave them just for you to just for you to be a part of this particular occasion. It has shown that you want to implement the theory of change, in which you want to be a part, in which we can say tomorrow no one was left behind, but everybody is still involved. Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, an event like this cannot happen overnight. Indeed, it can never happen overnight. It takes time, it takes the energy, it takes the physical strength of everybody to ensure that this particular occasion becomes a success at the end of the day. The way it starts falling weeks ago, that's for sure, it requires planning and a bad eye for these things. We have been fortunate enough to be backed by a team of very motivated and dedicated colleagues of watching this center, in which I would like to extend our thanks and appreciation to all the committed staff and volunteers of WCC in ensuring this program to be a success. I want to thank you all. I cannot thank for their involvement and their willingness to take up the completion of that at this important and historic occasion beyond their comfort zone. Everybody has come from the comfort zone. We have left our food in the home. We have left our husbands in the home. We have left our parents at home. We have left our colleagues doing other things. But we said, no, we have to be part of this particular initiative which has been developed by WCC. And we know it is not an easy task. Money has been put into this particular venture. The time has been put into this particular venture. So we said, let's leave all other things and come to this occasion. And because of you have done that, you have left all your comfort zone to be part of this particular occasion. I want to say a big thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you. Hello, welcome to this interview. Your name? My name is Israel Dijan Thomas, a student of Fabi College Library Archives and Records. Okay, and we see today the World Changes Center, they um, can launch the library in uh, um, Joe Town. I go want to make you tell, we're waiting 
now the importance of this library also to the people them now this particular community well the library now a very very important um sus, uh, sustainability something now any community now any educational platform so let alone low say now Joe Tonga where this library don't can fend itself it's very important because it will come boost the educational system in this part of the country. If you can look, this library can find itself near one school where they found in 1963. So if you check, it's over 50 years. This school not sabi waiting and call a library. So for a library day in a place like this, a moment like this, I think now a big goal in the educational sector, this community don't score. And it will come for improve greatly now the educational sector. Looking at the village where um, the library are so day, I go want for know what I get for do for make sure say them picking they also use the service. Well, we want to come with new system, a new idea into library system. Not so like that old system where picking they come in a library just can't sit down and read book. Not get nobody with the EPAM. One of the idea of the CEO of the World Changing Center now for make the Pikiden of fair with reading. Where now one of the greatest things where we Pikiden they suffer from now. Where I, I do some survey, he asks for where you see eight out of ten picking where they read perfectly. So what we want to do is one bring a reading competition, spelling competition, debating competition, now this library. We are in schools them around this Jotong and other nearby community them go they come for lay then come do reading, spelling and debating competition. You talk about competition, that brings me to another question. Where I go want for know if you not only the picking them away they are where then at this um Jotan community get for benefit from this library. But as you say another schools then get for the get for benefit. The other schools then they were the out of Jotan community. How do I get for reach out to them picking and day? Well, we therefore do outreach. We are in we go get for make invitation letter, write to them, write to their heads of school they are. Say we they invite them. Let themselves get the awareness say library don't they not doorstep. As you know this not just one remote M -M 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 community. We're not gonna reach all man at the western area. But we want just start now this particular point, we are in most of the primary school, them where they around this community up to secondary school. We go fair way where they reach to the heads of them school and they let themselves know say library don't they let them they bring some of them picking them. They will bring competition between them because once in self where we understand we not get competition between schools. He hardly let here he say two schools and they lock on on debating competition. Two schools and they lock on on spelling competition. Two schools and they lock on on reading competition. That's now once on TV we want to bring camp. Now this community, now this part of the country. And also I go ask for know if the picking and gets for pay anything for attend this library, for get this library service. Well, we for no say one of the sickness now Sierra Leone now for pay for education. But I want to assure me people them. I want to assure members of this community, the Western area rural, say this library now totally, totally free. The only thing where they pay for now your attention. All we need where you come now the library, pay attention. Now the only thing and the way they pay for. But we know so whatever you are access now the library is totally free. So what thing gets for be the qualification of the schools them or the picking them where it gets for camp for camp? attend this library one if for be students of any school where they are around the community two you for regular in a school because let you not be that kind of student where they feel say the library in a side for car hide where you the cake in a school no you for be that regular student them where you teach and they know say are they can a library for can study so we not get no other qualification all we need be a student always they say you school uniform where you can access the library. Unless where we don't sabi you more, we go encourage you where you wear clothes. What is the message we go out to all the way to you don't say so? Well, what is the message now for encourage the parents them first. Let them office say where they are picking and they can a library now for can play on a idleness. Do the parents them 
let them encourage them picking because every library now a backbone to education. If you observe many schools, they not get library. Some are not be waiting a library. But library, now that place, Usai Piki, they come, study and get knowledge, extra knowledge, where the school not they able to offer them. Two, I want to send this to the Ministry of Education. Waiting so ever now they support. Let yourself know, say, somebody they out there where they think of them picking their hair. Somebody they out there where they think of education. If them SSSF can take up this tax, build library, now some remote areas them, greatly we go see where spy the less, we go see where mass failure the less, but we, but we external exam them, we go see how much more we pick in them, go to improve now the educational sector. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello, welcome to this interview. Your name and who that you be? My name is Mr. Jubril by Kamara, um, a board member for WCC. We know that the World Change Centre, they do plenty of work in Mabo Kando village. I go want to make you tell me, give me the update about the work right now where they go on at Mabo Kando. Mabo Kando is a wonderful village. We get them, um, we brother, we get to sister them in the community. We get them small, small picking them. We get to come them. We get a big project where we want to undertake in Mabo Kando village. Even today, we're going to the, in the village day, the WCC land, the woman them. Then go, then go brush the land. From then, then we come to the library. We can do the opening today. So we're so happy for the wonderful thing that we take up where they, where they, where they go on a mobile kind of village. The library, where now a resource center for the people in the community, where they bring changes in the community. And also, the land where we get, where they, where they hope and pray that we'll get a developing partner where we can build for we that we, we, the structure, what they try for young about. And also we see um, the World Change Center come uh, launch today the library in Joe Town. I go on from make you tell me why Joe Town Village? Well, Joe Town Village, to be specific, now they were able to source this um, kind of structure because Mobile Kando, they're not getting any kind of facility they are. Now I made them bring and come in Joe Town. And as you can see, inside there, now they will do all the launching today. Now, because of that, make we do the library in Joe Town instead of Mobile Kando. So, how does the library get forgotten? The library gets forgotten on a daily basis, every day. We get um, a session for the picking them, we get a session for the big one, them. Even the one them way, don't left Bobby, the one that with the creep self, we get a session for them. We also get a session for university graduates, for they can do research in the library. So, who do they get for benefits from this? particular library? Everyone gets for benefits. The school picking them from nursery, primary, secondary, and even university. We get all them um, resource books in there and the library. They all get for benefits out of this library. So, apart from this library, what do you get WCC get for do for the picking them? WCC gets a lot for do for the picking them. Um, right now, they think for the picking them, we vulnerable. We get them close. We get them pampas. Because the, the woman in this tongue here, oh, it's terrible. When they get unborn, close for work self, they're not able to forget them. Neither pampas. So now, ordinary, like the lapa, now in the chair, for cover them, picking them. But WCC gets a lot for develop the human resource, number one, and Jutong community. So, what is the message we go out to always? You don't say so. The message I go out today, I'm so excited, I'm so happy. What are we launching today? at the school and also the library will serve as a resource center not only for Joton, Mobile Kandot, but all the eight villages them and even people from the city they will come here for Kandu research. I'm so happy. May God bless Banis Langley. May God bless the partner the way they support Banis Langley for CC this, this NWCC program come to reality. God bless WCC, God bless the partner and God bless we all. Thank you very much. Thank you too. Hello, welcome to this interview. Your name? Ijatuba. Class, how much you day? Four. How you feel today when WCC come launch this library for now? Fine. How you feel? Fine. Okay. So, what is the message where you go and send to your company school picking them concerning this library? What do you go and tell them about the library? I want to tell them, see? Let them, let them welcome. Let them try in this library. 
So you can come at this library? You can come at the library? Yes. What do you can come for can do? For can study. Okay. So who's not say where you can can study in the library? You can can study math and not to have Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma. As the World Changes Centre, now a non-governmental organisation where they help people and also they help picking them where they go to school in my boy kind of village. And today, the World Changes Centre don't can launch them first library in the Joe Town community. And also, when I don't listen, so within the Liberian, don't talk about how the library get for one and the importance of the library. Mina Aisatu Smaisi say, until we meet again to another edition of the program, talk to the camera, I say, ta-ta. Yeah.